Hey again, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out this rather handsome Hyundai Ioniq 5 Project 45. So first off, we're going to start with how this car looks. And even from a distance, you can see the front end of this car is just stunning. Now, this being the top of the range Project 45, it has lovely 20 inch wheels. And these, in my opinion, are an absolute work of art. However, I really would not want to clean them. Running down the side, we've got these lovely grey stripes and lovely grey wheel arches as well. And the car just looks stunning. The rear of the car, just like the front of the car, has lovely LED lights, really square, really futuristic, but not over the top. The interior in the Ionic 5 Project 45 is very spacious. Plenty of space throughout the front and the back of the car. The seats are leather and they're really well put together and they're electrically adjustable front and back. And the heated seats front and back are not just the bases of the seats are heated, but the backs of the seats are heated. Wowza! Now another neat feature of this particular model of Project 45 is this centre console is adjustable and you can move it backwards and forwards to make space. And there's no tunnel here at all at the front, so it gives an even more spacious feel to the car. It really does feel like a spacious car in here, I can't emphasise that enough. Uh, on the dashboard you have twin screens, I know a lot of cars these days are going for the one screen down the middle. Now me personally, I quite like the twin screens because the one screen in front of you, you can focus on. And I find the cars with the big screens down the centre, my eyes tend to wander from the road quite a lot, which I think is quite dangerous. So I think Hyundai have done a good move with the twin screens and the same size as well. And all your info is there, everything that you need. Now, just like the front of the car, the back of the car is very spacious indeed, and like I do in every single road test. I'll show you just how much space is between my knees and the seat in front of me. There's so much space there. And unlike any other car that I've ever known, the rear seats are adjustable, just like the front seats. And in fact, they're electrically adjustable in this version. Now that is real novelty right there. Hyundai have really thought this car through and given it some unique features that no other car has got. One of the nice features in this car as well is you can see possibly this has illuminated the speaker and the door and also the door trims are also illuminated in the same colour. Which looks really nice, especially over night time. Now as you would expect with the car in this price range, this car comes with a... Electric tailgate. So this car is once again from Car and Cab Care. But this car is the owner's car as car and cab care will not be selling the Project 45 as well, they're all sold out. But they will be selling the SE Connect and the premium models, and the SE Connect will be for sale from £35,100. Now, as always guys, my favourite bit of any video is how fast does it go? Now we know this car is north to 60 in 5.2 seconds, I've covered that several times, but let's see what it's like when you put your foot down! Woo! Jesus Christ, that thing goes! Oh, my God. So what's the Ionic 5 Project 45 like to drive? Well, it's bloody quick for a starter. The road holding is incredible. The ride is a little bit harsh thanks to those big 20 inch alloys, but it's not unbearable. And in fact, at high speed, you can barely notice it. It's more at low speed, you can feel it. The acceleration is very very impressive not just from a standing start either i mean roll on acceleration is quite incredible i overtook uh, about three cars earlier on and it's an overtake i wouldn't normally do on my bike but i did it in this car comfortably which should tell you all you need to know about how fast this car is you can tell it's got a four-wheel drive system and big chunky tires because the road holding really is incredible i've thrown it around some corners today and i didn't bat an eyelid there's no understeer there's no oversteer there's no anything that just takes the corner happily and bearing in mind this is a big heavy car that's very impressive now guys if you liked the video please don't forget to like and subscribe maybe to share it with your friends on facebook now one thing i'd like to touch on today is how nice it is to drive an ev especially around town because not only is there no gear changing there's there no engaging of a clutch but also it's not like driving an ice car with an automatic gearbox you're not waiting for it to change gear you're not putting your foot down and going oh why did you change gear then you just literally plant your foot and off you pop and quite often 
you can drive with just the one foot and the one pedal because the braking is so good when you've got regen on the go which means you can literally put your foot down to go and take your foot off to stop so so easy to drive and when you're in traffic as well again it's so easy to drive much easier to drive than any equivalent internal combustion engine car and taking off from a stand and start is super easy because all you do is plant your right foot there's no clutch there's no what gear should be no when should I change gear you plant your right foot and off you go and especially this car with a four wheel drive and the massive grip literally you've got to do nothing plant your right foot go so easy to drive and still especially this car and the Kia e Niro 3 I drove a while back it's so rewarding to drive as well you think because you're not taking part as much in the driving experience it wouldn't be as, re as rewarding but it really really is and you can pay so much more attention to your steering wheel and to your brakes and to what's around you because you're not concentrating on changing gear you're not concentrating on depressing the clutch really is an enjoyable experience so something I want to touch on today is electric cars in general now there's a lot of negativity around electric cars and I speak to people every day about cars now and so many people are still negative towards electric cars now first off guys electric cars are the future so you're gonna have to deal with it at some point it's it's just inevitable hydrogen isn't going to take off as far as i can see i don't think anyone thinks hydrogen is going to take off electric cars are the future and there's nothing to be scared of you know this is the fourth or fifth electric car i've driven i've put some serious miles on electric cars now i've driven one up to scotland this one has been to scotland and back in front of me and there really is nothing to worry about that many people i speak to say how they're worried about having a car that's only got a 300 mile range how many days a year do you travel over 300 miles and when you do travel over 300 miles you're not stopped for a coffee last time i traveled 300 miles i stopped i had a coffee i had something to eat i went to the toilet i was there for at least half an hour on the services and that's enough time to put some decent charge into an electric car so i don't see what the problem is personally there are more and more chargers popping up every single day and even car and cab care themselves are setting up their own charging bay. Now with every car I've reviewed so far there's been some things that I don't like. <laughs> this has been a hard hard call with this car because there's just nothing to not like so a few niggly little things right first off the buttons on the steering wheel are quite sensitive so when you're actually turning and you're using the steering wheel sometimes you can knock the buttons it's mildly annoying and i'm sure you put your hands somewhere else and your hands should be at 10 and 2 anyway but to me that's just mildly annoying um someone pointed out months ago that the aluminium knobs on the indicator stalks are a bit cheapo and since he's mentioned that I kind of I've noticed it too and yeah they are a bit cheapo so these are teeny tiny little annoyances which really would not put me off buying one of these cars what really I don't like about this car is the fact that A is 48 grand and I can't afford one and B even if I had 48 grand I couldn't buy one because they're all sold out yeah that's the bit I really really don't like I can't have one makes me sad but otherwise this car borderline perfect this is going to be the car to convert people who are against electric cars I guarantee if you drive one of these cars you will be sold <laughs> 